What do you call a place that was once the largest housing settlement project in Meru town? Koje akika ni estate mzuri na kama saa hii wakati matai imewekwa siku hizi hakuna wesi vile na ningeomba watu hata wawe wanakuja kukomboa nyumba huku na hata wale wamekomboa tayari wana testify wewe wao wenyewe ati koje ni mzuri a place which later became infamous for lack of security. And the majority of the occupiers and even the owners of the plot decided to leave them. And the houses were left empty. Actually, we had uh, several houses that were occupied by just inventors. An invader just, just comes in and uh, occupies the house without paying any, anybody anything. So. So people decided to sell, to escape that, uh, to move away from that insecurity. And that's why the plots became so cheap. That time there was no electricity, no good loads, and uh, the security was very bad, very bad, extremely bad. Such that um, you could not walk from town to this estate around six, you would be mad. What do you call a place where neighborliness is treated with so much suspicion? Shida sasa ni sisi tuli ati yao mamba la kina kuna kazi tunapata kwa serikali bado tunaendelea kuumia tunona wadogo wetu wa kika hivyo tukiwambia tulikuwa tunaiba na hakuna kitu ya kukula si watanda kuiba tu saa tungiwamba tu hata si wakuba tuangaliwa hapo juyo mwiyo mambo ilisha kapisa si tunangalia na si wanyo kwa wenyewe Lakini sasa wanaanza tena Jana walishugua kikipiti mbili hapo Njusi moja pale you call that place Koje Estate, an area that was once Meru Town's pride and joy has now become anything but and will be our focus on this week's episode of Area Code. Koje Estate is the kind of place you'd live if you were in the 80s and were earning good money. It's an estate that was built for Meru's middle class in the mid-1980s. Back then, it would be the largest housing project out of the available five that were ongoing courtesy of the Meru Municipal Council. Construction for Koje Estate began in April 1984. The Meru Municipal Council set aside land which they acquired from a local community which resided in the area. It still remains unclear why the area was called Koje, but several theories have been developed over the years. This place initially the it was a, a, a village called Koje. But when the, the, the NAC bought the, the land, because this was a compulsory acquisition, it used to be a freehold area, freehold title area. But when they came, they, they, they did the, the compulsory acquisition and retained the name that uh, the village was calling itself, Koje. Another school of thought suggests that a long time ago this entire area had been inhabited by two sub-clans of the Ameru. One of them was known as Mpuria and the other Koje. But because the Koje were the predominant sub-clan, this entire area inadvertently was named Koje as soon as more people began residing here. Koje Estate would ultimately be constructed by the National Housing Corporation for a period of one and a half years. 
The construction entailed the setting up of two roomed housing units across this vast area. Uh, it was not fully settled. So there are those initial two bedroom uh, houses which were not fully developed. But when we bought, most of them now are developed. And what the, the, the NC did, they built half of the plan. That is, they built two rooms and a toilet. Toilet come bathroom. And then the, the tenant was, uh, the, 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 the mortgager was supposed now to complete there. The other half, that is the sitting room plus the kitchen. So initially there were just two rooms. And uh, once you buy, uh, or rather once you mortgage, you are supposed to complete on your, own. on your own. The vision of the housing corporation was to have a middle class high density estate befitting of the growing working class population in Meru town at the time. The National Housing Corporation would eventually have 233 housing units constructed in total. After the construction, the process of allocating the houses began. Priscilla Kidinji remembers too well the high demand the houses had despite limited economic capabilities for those eyeing the homesteads. The Meru Municipal Council settled on balloting as a way of getting potential homeowners for the houses. Wakati silikuwa sinapigua kura, sikuweza ku, atu kuweza kununua ama kupata sababu wakati uo, tulikuwa ndao nisana hata kifeza. Atungi afondi hile elfu moja ilikuwa inapati wano, hili mtu awe rejibu kupiga kura. Only a few were able to afford the 1,000 shillings levied by the Meru Municipal Council to bid for the homes. Wakati wa ambaroting, it was yani ilikuwa very fair. Kwa sababu, mwenye alikuwa na afford 1K ndi alikuwa na ajuluziwa kupiga hile kura hili ya apate karatasi enye imeandikuwa yes. Na sisi wakati uo kwa sababu watunge afford hiyo, tukatasama tu kwa macho, ikachukuliwa na wenye walikuwa na wana hiyo 1K. Once the bid was successful, the new homeowners were required to pay off the houses using a higher purchase scheme for a period of 25 years. But eventually people were unable to pay because the agreement was the people to pay through the municipal. So eventually people were unable to pay because they were not tenants. And all, all the challenges were not conducive for lentils. And uh, the national housing was forced to come and repossess the houses from the municipal. And so we continued with the, with the national housing until they recouped, recouped their, their investment. The initial homeowners were required to buy the homes for as little as 20,000 shillings upon making monthly deposits. Mbereni kabisa, imenjetere wakati wali, watu walipata nyumba, walikuwa na usa pesa kidogo sana. Ata 20k. Kwa sababu ni nyumba ambaye umeka kama umepewa. Ata 20k, 50k, kuna ata lafiki yangu walikuwa na, na niusia 50k. Lakini singe afondi. Hmm? Kwa sababu gani? Hiyo mshahara yenye nilikuwa napata singe afondi kuchukua hata loan ya 50k. So, ilikuwa challenge kubwa. But eventually, Priscilla would become a homeowner in Koje Estate years later after she bought this house from an initial homeowner. But the residents of the estate would admit that residency here was never a rosy affair. Social amenities were lacking in Koje and the value of the houses quickly began to dwindle. And they eventually when people started coming in, they got full within no time. The municipal refused to manage the, the sewer. So the, the, the NSC continued doing the, the, the maintenance. And after they recouped their investment, they left. So we had had a challenge for the last 20 years of sewer system. People now are bringing up uh, story buildings 
a plot that was meant for a single household, today you'll find even up to 10. And that's why we have had problems with the sewerage system. Sometimes even electricity. For example, the overloading of transformers, breakdowns of the same. The growing population in Koje Estate has been more of a curse than a blessing to this neighborhood. The estate now hosts nearly three times the number of people it was designed for. With each home on an eighth acre piece of land, Koje still remains lucrative among a select group of residents of Meru town. But over the years, the estate has struggled to rid itself off of a dark and checkered past, one associated with crime and even death. Kwanza wakati tulingia huku, kulikuwa mbaya sana. Sababu ulikuwa unapita hata kwanzia asubuhi ukienda kazi, unakuta mtu ameuwa hapo. Ako chini, mimi personally, nimekuta watu watatu na sio siku moja. When area code returns, we explore the deep-rooted security challenges that have earned Koje Estate the unlikely moniker of being Meru's most insecure neighborhood. And it was serious that even during the day you could be mugged. I remember one time my wife, Halivua uh, Nguo, putting them on the line that was how, how serious it was. Houses were left empty. Actually, we had uh, several houses that were occupied by just invaders. An invader just, just comes in and uh, occupies the house without paying any, anybody anything. We'll also be focusing on an area the residents of Koje say could be the root cause of all their security concerns. Wengine anaito Meru 6. Akiingia kwa nyumba yako akukuta sapati anabeba. Akikuta unakaa hapa, akikupiga tero ile kitu anapata anaenda nani. 